so I took the stitch holder out and we have this is the corner we made and I've gone all the way up this side just about to make another corner right here so we'll be wrapping and turning on the new square side and we'll be attaching on the existing blanket side so I'm going to start here we've just picked up the last attaching stitch on this side and we're gonna start our wrap and turns so we're gonna knit eight two three four five six seven eight and oh I take that back we have one more stitch to attach here because here's my eyelet roll and I can see that I have one more bar here before that eyelet roll so I'm going to pick up a stitch slip turn and then go back knit eight actually yeah two three four five six seven eight slip all tangled up here so here is my edge that I'm picking up on I'm going to pick up this first stitch here and knit into it turn too many strings slip now we're gonna wrap and turn knit eight I usually leave that stitch holder in until I reach the second corner. Just makes it a little bit easier to have that off for the second corner. Wrap and turn. And there's your first wrap stitch. And you're going to work eight. Slip. A little better organized here. I'm kind of wrapped. Wrapped in a way I don't want to be wrapped. Okay, so now we have to pick up the next loop on this end. Look, looks like that's a good one. Slip. Turn. Now we're going to wrap, we're going to work seven and then wrap again. 
as you work through here, you'll be able to tell a little better which stitch you're going to wrap. It's, see how these have a little loop on them? That's kind of what I call the pearl loop on the pearl side of your work. So I'm going to knit this one. And then I'm going to wrap that one. Notice how the one that's already been wrapped does not have that pearl loop. So there'll be a gap, and then there'll be the wrapped stitch, and then there'll be the one you're supposed to wrap next. And then on this blanket side, you're going to pick up the next loop, knit through it, turn, slip, bring the yarn in back, and we'll keep working back and forth this way as we work this corner. Rather than having to count every time, there's your gap, there's your last wrap stitch, and it's this next one with the pearl loop there. That's the next one you're gonna wrap. That's how I tell rather than having to count every row and remember how many I worked on the last row. So I just look for that gap and that pearl loop on my stitch. Back to the other side, work the next, catch that next little loop knit into it, pull the slip stitch over it, slip, work however many, I think it's five this time, two, three, four, five, there's your gap, there's your wrap, and there's your pearl loop that you're going to wrap next. I'm going to finish wrapping that one. You can see that wrap stitch there. Knit four, I believe it would be. Five again and slip and then pick up your next stitch there knit through it slip your pearl stitch over you can see your line all the way down there line of loops Slip, pick up another little loop in your, this is actually a cast off edge that you're working into. That's why it looks so different. The cast off edge 
will be a different look to it, have a different look to it than a regular side of a knitting row of a knitting knitted edge where you have the little bars to pick up which is what you usually see so this uh, cast off edge is or bound off edge you might call it is going to look a little different when you're picking up the stitches you can see each of the little stitches that you bound off or cast off there's another one. Picking up one on each roll. Slip. Now, this is the one we're going to wrap. You can see your gap there. Then your last strap stitch, and this is the one you're going to wrap this time. Turn, and then you knit two. Almost done with this first half of the corner. I'm going to go through this first half of the corner, and then that'll be the end of this video. And then you can go to the next video to see how I finish that next. Okay. Hmm. Knit one. And wrap. Turn, knit one. I hope I have one more to pick up here. That pretty much seems like the end stitch. Okay, then you're going to turn, and this last one, which I dropped my knitting needle, so I'm going to end it here, and I will show you, we'll pick, we'll pick up here on the next video.